Hey everyone, Cookie here. I have for you a CSR 28 regicide gameplay, and this is on Haven. Right off the bat, I'm going to spawn Closed Ramp. I like the Closed Ramp spawn, particularly because people spawn underneath you, so you can go for the kill right away, or you can go top mid like I choose to do. I picked up the sword, but I ended up getting sniped. I noticed the king is going top mid, so I'm going to lift, toss a nade, and take him out. I get beat down, but I'm able to put a few shots into him. I don't clean up the kill, but uh, that's fine. Um, I notice the king is going top mid again. He gets picked off. Whoever is king or the crown changes a lot in the beginning of the game, and that's just how it is. I recommend just hunting the king down, especially in the beginning of the match. Toward the end of the match, it doesn't really matter as much. And I'll explain a little bit more about why it doesn't matter later. But in the beginning, you should go for king uh, pretty much primarily. And you'll see that's what I'm doing. I get shot at from behind. I turn around and I manage to get a nice kill on this guy. So just to explain about the regicide game type even more. What I've learned from playing more games in regicide is that it's pretty much a... It's kind of like a rumble pit, yet it compensates the players who may not be as good. So it's almost like easier than rumble pit. The reason I say that is because whereas in rumble pit, you can only get 10 points per kill and there is no king, there is no indicator. So the people who are the most skilled will probably, you know, take a lead in the beginning and hold it for the rest of the match. But in Regicide, if you have the lead, then you have a huge indicator over your head. And if someone kills you, they get what is worth two kills for one. So it's pretty much like, I don't know if you've ever played any racing games, but there's a thing called catch-up. So if you're behind the other car, if catch-up is on, then, you can, then your car goes faster or your opponent goes slower, so you can catch up to them. So it keeps the race kind of tight. And that's kind of what I see this whole Regicide game type as. is just, you know, it allows for people to catch up to other people. And it's especially bad when you are leading and you're king for the entire match. The chance, I mean, you can continue to get kills, but everyone is going for you and when they kill you it counts for 20 points so they have an advantage this guy right here I chase him he must have been really mad <laughs> shoot him he goes up lift he tries to thrust your pack away but I end up taking him out so yeah that's just basically my observations about the game type it's pretty much an easier version of rumble pit or it's easier in the sense that it allows people to catch up who aren't doing so well in the beginning of the match and the reason i was saying to go for the king a lot in the beginning of the match is just because as you can see from now on in this match i have the lead so i'm king and people know where i am every kill i get is worth 10 points so Obviously, if you go for the king, if you go for the king a lot in the beginning of the game, you'll probably become king, but it's a good way to get your score up there very quickly and become king very quickly. The only strategy I would recommend as king is to just try to stay alive as much as possible, really. Um, and uh, as you notice right there, every 30 seconds you stay alive as king, you get an overshield, which is extremely convenient. Right here, I try to walk off because I think I can make it onto that ledge, but I misjudged it and I ended up dying. But one last thing I want to say before this game wraps up is that on each map... Alright, I'll find myself really quickly. On each map, you'll notice that people congregate around a certain area. On Haven, it's usually bottom mid. There are always people on bottom mid. Top mid is, is fine. Sometimes people will go top mid. But usually it's bottom mid. As you can see right now, there are two people bottom mid. I end up helping this guy kill this guy. Take him out. There's another guy. And there's another guy to the right as well. Bottom mid is just... It's one of those spots where everyone goes on Haven. So each map has different spots. And once you get to know them by playing Regicide, 
a decent amount, then you will know where to go. Even if you're a king, as I am right now, it's still really important to rush those spots. Yes, you're going to die and you're going to give someone 20 points, but if you just sit back as king, maybe someone will rush you, but chances are, especially on Haven, the fighting's going to go on and people are going to get points and you're just going to be sitting there and you're going to lose, lose the crown. So it's definitely recommended to play somewhat aggressively uh, as king, especially on Haven. Just go bottom mid. It's, it's a great spot to go. Alright, so I have... Yeah, that was the last kill, actually. So that was a CSR 28 gameplay on Haven. Um, I got the 30 kills. As you can see, just based on like looking at how many regicides the other players had, Abnormal had 6, Warphage had 5. That just shows you that the reason they were so close in points to me was because of those regicides. It wasn't exclusively that, but it really does help them catch up. And I'll be posting more gameplays. I'll be posting some Rumble Pit gameplays for you. But um, more gameplays to come. Like, comment, and subscribe. I've enjoyed your comments so far. And that is it. See you later.